planet Earth, despite what we know and discovered about ourselves in this world, this planet is still filled with chaos and mystery. Time passes quickly as life continuously shifts and develops with each passing second. The average human lifespan is currently 72 years, which is significantly increased from the Stone Age when it was only 20 to 25 years old. The findings of contemporary science can help one develop a more modest outlook. When compared to the age of the Earth, which is currently 4.5 billion years old and counting, and the age of the universe, which is 13.7 billion years old, our existence, and even the entire existence of the human species, seems nothing more than the smallest blip in the overall timeline of existence. It almost appears as if everything in the cosmos is currently operating on borrowed time. Time continues to perplex scientists even to this day. Is it possible to manipulate time? Is time finite or infinite? But most importantly of all, will time ever stop or come to an end? According to our experiences, there is never really a conclusion to anything. When we pass away, our bodies deteriorate and the material that was once inside of them returns to the soil and the air. This makes it possible for new forms of life to emerge. What comes after us is how life continues to exist. However, will that always remain the case? Is it possible that there may be a moment in the not-too-distant future when there will be no after? Depressingly, contemporary science seems to point to yes being the correct answer. There would be no renewal or recovery, and all activity would come to a complete halt. When time itself comes to an end, all life will also come to an end. The rhythms of waking and sleeping, the changing of the seasons, birth and death all play a role in the course of our lives. The cyclical understanding of time may help us feel more connected to the natural world, but it does not provide solutions to the problems that face science. What can explain the history of the Earth, including its geological ages and the experience of its ancient creatures? And when was this planet birthed in the first place? When and how will it all be over? We now understand time as an arrow in a constantly evolving world, thanks to the revolutions sparked by Copernicus and Darwin in the early to late modern period. Ludwig Boltzmann, a 19th century physicist, came up with a theory he thought explained the direction of time's arrow. The second law of thermodynamics on which entropy is founded states that disorder tends to rise. Everything in the universe, from the smallest molecules to the largest stars, is gradually progressing from initial stages of low entropy or order to higher entropy or disorder. To combat this decay, nature continually reassembles matter and energy in lower entropy states through death and rebirth cycles. What if entropy eventually triumphs and stops the forward momentum of time? Will time stop pushing forward in its intransigent way? We are simply bystanders and chess pieces in this intergalactic struggle, and yet as our own inevitable demise approaches, we strive for a deeper understanding of how time works. From ancient mechanical clocks to the decay of radioactive elements and modern telescopes that detect the speed of distant objects, these tools provide windows into the nature of time. In Einstein's general theory of relativity, which underpins our current knowledge of gravity, we find a prediction that foretold this gruesome scenario of time ending. Before that hypothesis, physicists and philosophers generally agreed that time is a constant, unchanging rhythm to which the cosmos marches. The universe, as Einstein demonstrated, is more akin to a massive polyrhythmic jam session. Time can pause, lengthen, or speed up as needed. When we experience gravity, we are actually sensing time's improvised rhythm. Falling things are drawn to locations where time moves more slowly. Time not only influences but also reacts to the actions of matter, much like a drummer and dancer who set each other on edge with their infectious rhythm. In a chaotic situation though, time can vanish like an overexcited drummer who bursts into flames. The theory of relativity is often intertwined with a singularity. The term of singularity can be used to describe any temporal limit, not just beginnings and endings. Popularly known as the Big Bang, this event occurred 13.7 billion years ago and marked the beginning of the universe's expansion and the beginning of time itself. Time will come to a screeching halt if the universe ever stops growing and begins to contract again, a process known as the Big Crunch. There is no universal need for time to die. According to relativity, 
It dies in black holes but continues outside of them. Black holes have a well-deserved reputation for destructiveness, but they are considerably worse than you may assume. Your timeline would end if you fell into one, as you would be shredded to pieces and finally reach a singularity at the whole center. You wouldn't be reborn from your ashes and neither would your molecules. You would experience an existential apocalypse, much like a fictional character who reaches the final page of a book. Time marches on and Earth's axis wobbles in a pattern we call Milankovitch cycles. About once every 100,000 years, the Milankovitch cycle is held responsible for the beginning of ice ages. Furthermore, there is the carbon cycle. Plants are able to absorb it from the atmosphere or the ocean. As dead plants decompose or as waste moves down the food chain, it eventually ends up in the soil or the ocean sediments. To be released back into the air, this carbon can take millions of years, and sometimes it takes a volcanic explosion or a major decrease in sea levels. Therefore, the cycles that regulate the greater cosmos can provide us with a glimpse of time's bigger arcs. The Big Bang idea is currently the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe came to be. The time of tiny subatomic particles like quarks and leptons in a simmering soup has arrived, with the entropy consistently low. Atoms formed in a matter of microseconds, marking the beginning of the Big Bang and all that followed. As it expanded, the cosmos chilled, becoming dimmer and entering a period known as the Cosmic Dark Ages. Gravity constantly drew particles closer, working against the expansion. After hundreds of millions of years, greater masses of stuff had begun to coalesce. These confined regions of gas eventually became hot and flammable. So began the era of stars. In this glorious age, the universe seeded the rich cosmic landscapes we see in our telescopes. Innumerable galaxies were illuminated by the light of their stars. Stars of varying sizes have different lifespans, and these differences determine the arc of this epoch. A star's luminosity comes from the compression of mass into its core by gravity. The pull of gravity is countered by the outward push of the released energy. Stars across the cosmos are fighting this war by energy and gravity. There is another possible truth to the same side of the coin when it comes to time. Time is a fundamental aspect of our understanding of the universe, and some scientists and philosophers believe that time is infinite. This belief is based on the concept of the universe having no beginning or end, supported by evidence from modern cosmology. For example, the Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe began with a singularity, a point of infinite density and infinite space-time curvature which expanded rapidly to create the universe as we know it. However, this singularity itself has no clear explanation for its existence, leading scientists to believe that the universe has always existed and will continue to exist forever. If the universe has always existed and will continue to exist forever, it follows that time must also be infinite, as time is a measure of the progression of events in the universe. Additionally, the laws of physics do not place any limitations on the duration of time. Time dilation, for example, is a phenomenon that occurs when time appears to pass at different rates for objects in different states of motion. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time appears to pass slower for objects moving at a high velocity or in a strong gravitational field compared to objects at rest or in a weaker gravitational field. However, this phenomenon does not suggest any inherent limitations on the duration of time, but rather reflects the flexible nature of time as it is affected by the relative motion and gravitational forces of objects. It is important to note that the concept of infinite time is difficult for the human mind to fully comprehend, as we are used to thinking of time in terms of finite units such as seconds, minutes, and years. However, the concept of infinite time is a fundamental aspect of our understanding of the universe and is supported by a range of scientific evidence. While the nature of time and its relationship to the universe is a complex and ongoing area of study, the belief in infinite time remains a cornerstone of modern scientific thought. Science is able to make sense of the inexplicable by dissecting it into manageable pieces and revealing that a long, winding road is really just a series of baby steps.
That's how things will be at the end of the world. By contemplating the passage of time, we gain a greater understanding of our finite existence. Things that will inevitably fade away with the passage of time are necessities for our survival. In order to grow and change, unidirectional time is essential, as is the ability to conceptualize length and magnitude, the ability to assign causes and effects, the ability to separate things spatially, and the necessity for causal ordering and process unfolding. When these things fade, so does our chance of survival. No one will ever be conscious at the moment of the end of time, more than they will ever be cognizant at the moment of their own death. Our distant descendants will have to fight for survival in a more and more dangerous universe as time draws to a close, and their efforts will only expedite the inevitable. The passage of time is not something that happens to us, rather we actively contribute to its passing. Every day, we contribute to the deterioration of the universe by converting energy into useless heat while we function as biological organisms. Though time seems like it will end, it's important to continue living here on Earth, learning as much as possible, and enjoying the comforts of our planetary home while we still have it. Time is short for us humans, and everything good always must come to an end.